Well, out here on the ranch, I can say without a doubt that it does not get any more cowboy friendly than chicken fried steak. The guys have been working so hard for the last two weeks, getting up at 5 a.m. every morning. And while we don't eat chicken fried steak every day, right now is the time that they really need something that sticks to their ribs. I seasoned this cube steak on both sides with salt and pepper. And then it goes into a seasoned flour mixture. I've got some cayenne, paprika, seasoned salt, a little salt and pepper. After the flour, it goes into an egg and milk mixture. The reason this is called chicken fried steak is it has a breading on it that resembles fried chicken. It's kind of confusing to people who aren't familiar with the dish. They want to know where the chicken is. Okay, once it's heavily breaded, you can set it aside. I've got some chicken fried steak already frying in a big skillet with oil and a little butter for color. And that's what brings the cowboys to the kitchen. This really is a great assembly line. If you just get it going, you can bread these while the other ones are cooking, take them out, and then it's ready to put the other ones on. These need to cook for about two to two and a half minutes per side until they're nice and golden. Okay, the steak's all done. The mashed potatoes are in the oven, and now I'm gonna make the gravy. You cannot have chicken fried steak without gravy. It's written in a law somewhere. So I started by draining off most of the oil from the pan where I cooked the meat. And I'm sprinkling in the seasoned flour that I used to bread the steak. It's really difficult to give a precise recipe for gravy because there's so much eyeballing going on. You just add a little grease, sprinkle on a little flour, stir it together. Basically, you want to add enough flour into the pan that the mixture is more of a paste and doesn't have that greasy, oily appearance. So I'm going to grab some milk, whole milk, please. You can't make gravy with skim milk, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to turn up the heat just a bit and then whisk the whole time while I pour the milk into the pan. It looks really weird when you first start pouring the milk in and you'll become filled with self-doubt. You'll worry if you've messed it up, but just stick with it. And as you're whisking, listen to this. That sound you hear are the little bits of flavor that were in the bottom of the pan after I cooked the meat. And that's what makes the gravy delicious. So you wanna scrape all of that up so it becomes part of the gravy. And at this point, it's just about babysitting the gravy. Never leave your wingman. If you can master the fine art of gravy with chicken fried steak, you can do most things in life. Even if the gravy has plenty of salt, you always need to add more black pepper. Cowboys love black pepper in their gravy. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this.